I'm gonna take you through creating the most basic AirOps app possible and give you a quick tour of an AirOps workspace. So I'm in SpaceOps here, my imaginary organization, and I'm gonna head over to create a new app. And there's two types of application you can start with, either a kind of tool or workflow or a chat assistant, which is an agent with tools associated with it. So in this instance, I'm gonna create a basic tool or workflow. And this is gonna take me through to my AirOps Studio Canvas, which allows me to construct the sequence of steps that I want to go into my workflow. So super basic, I'm gonna start by adding a couple of fields uh, that I wanna collect for every single request that's sent through this workflow. So I'm gonna create a story writer here as an example, and I'm gonna set up story theme, save that, and then I'm gonna create story setting. Um, so where does my story take place? And so super basic, but I'm gonna collect these up front. I think they're both set to be not required, but you can obviously change that, and then the bulk of my workflow sits in the middle. And so any workflow is made up of a series of steps. And so these steps could be calls to a large language model like OpenAI's uh, GPT-4 or Anthropic's Claude. Um, I can also run code from Python and JavaScript. I can retrieve from a vector DB that we have built into the product, um, or I can call an API. But in this instance, I'm just gonna make a simple large language model call. I'm gonna pop open my little uh, prompt designer. I'm gonna pick my model here. So I want Claude to write this. And then I'm gonna write my instruction. I'm gonna say, uh, you are an expert story writer. Please write a story about the theme um, and then I'm gonna put my variable that I'm collecting up front story theme um, and please set the story in the location uh, story setting. Um, please add emojis to your response. Okay, super simple. I'm then gonna save a draft. I'm gonna give uh, this a little bit of an emoji. So let's cut the book emoji and we're gonna say story writer. Um, and that's gonna save my application. And now when I want to run a test, I can pick a story theme. So I'm gonna write a story about chickens today and I want the story setting to be on the moon. So let's run that. Um, and so we're getting our story coming out from the model here full of emojis. Um, very exciting indeed. So I'm gonna cancel that for now and then I'm gonna publish my application. So once an application has been published on AirOps, uh, I can head over to it and I'll see it in my sidebar um, and I can pick where I wanna run it from. So maybe I just wanna run it from AirOps, but I could also run it um, multiple times by uploading a CSV. I can uh, integrate it into my application using the REST API um, or my front end application using our front end SDK, which is awesome and super helpful um, to give my end users a great streaming token experience that they'd come to expect from modern AI applications. Um, we also have others including Snowflake and Google Sheets and more coming soon. Uh, once my application is live, I can, uh, I'm just gonna run it one more time in here um, and I will be able to see all of my historic uh, runs. Um, so I can see this is running here. I'll also be able to see uh, the output logs as they come in to allow me to really debug what's happening, see things like token usage and cost a couple of other things while I have you, you've made it this far. Um, so we also have a built-in vector database product called Memory Stores. And so this allows you to bring uh, your documents or data into your AirOps applications. And um, th this is as simple as coming in, giving you a memory store a name, and then you can connect either your Google Drive folder to add documents from there, or you can upload PDFs, CSVs, or text files. Um, and this is really useful for an instance where you want the AI to be able to perform semantic searches that will then inform its response. And so this is a online course that teaches people about house framing. Um, and I've created over here a simple bot, um, which is the other application type um, that will be able to now pull from that corpus of data to create responses. And so um, I'm gonna ask what kind of uh, loads does a building structure come under? And um, the agent in this instance is gonna take a look at my question. It's gonna use the tool that I've defined um, and I'll show you the, uh, the design of this and then it's gonna construct a response for me. And so if I go in and edit the application here, I can see this is a very basic uh, a chat agent with one single um, 
a tool available, available to it which allows it to retrieve information. And we've instructed it to use the material um, in this memory store for that. And this is a very flexible framework. It can be used for much more than question and answer over documents. And we'll be exploring that in future videos. Um, so for now, would love to see what you guys build with AirOps Studio V1. We have a lot of great stuff coming uh, and a reminder to join our Slack community uh, where we will be uh, able to offer more support. If you're midway through building an application and ever need to reach us, hit the need help button and we will be sure to be as helpful as we can. Um, and we're online most of the US working hours to provide support. So that's all for now and happy building and we'll see you in the application.